Welcome back to the Wound Talk series from Molnica. As our wound healing journey continues, we have learned about two of our 10 essentials of wound healing that are going to help us get our patient, Mary, back in good health and in good spirits. In the last episode, we focused on the second essential of wound healing, wound vascularization and oxygenation. We are now going to address the third essential of wound healing, the need to prevent and treat wound pain and consider loss of sensation. A wound by nature can cause some pain and discomfort, but severe pain should be investigated and not ignored. Severe pain affects wound healing in several ways. Therefore, it is important to investigate the reason behind the pain. For example, is the wound being treated correctly? Is it infected? Or is the circulation reduced? Pain can lead to stress, loss of appetite, and can also cause a lack of sleep, all of which can delay wound healing. Reductions in mobility can also affect healing in a negative way, because when the body is less active, so is our circulation. Additionally, pain causes blood vessels to constrict, which is also detrimental, as wound healing requires a sufficient blood and oxygen supply. All of this and more can affect Mary's quality of life, which brings on more stress, and this then becomes a vicious cycle. Some patients, for example with conditions like diabetes, may have loss of protective sensation, so it should be taken into consideration that they do not feel pain as they should. Pain can be a sign that something is wrong, and so the ability to feel pain can have a purpose. It is therefore important to assess, prevent and treat the cause of wound-related pain and engage the patient in the treatment plan if possible. By doing this, you can support your patient's wound healing and influence their quality of life, as pain can lead to stress, loss of appetite, reduced mobility, loss of sleep, constricted blood vessels and ultimately delay wound healing. With our third essential of wound healing adhered to, we are one step closer to a healed wound and getting Mary back to her happy and healthy self. Now that we have explored why it is important to prevent and treat wound pain and the issue around loss of sensation, let's take a look at how we implement this knowledge into practice before we move on to our next essential, cleansing and debridement of the wound.